In this video, I'm gonna show you how to heat your home and your hot water with battery power. Sure, it's summer now, and we're not thinking much about heat, but hot water is a year-round necessity, and staying prepared means thinking ahead. You know, I've made several videos in the past about my whole home power backup system, but that system is not for everyone. Maybe you only need a 120 volt system to back up power to your refrigerator or maybe your boiler for heat and hot water. Anchor sent me their all new Anchor Solix F3000, which is a 120 volt system with a massive battery. Well, today I'll show you how to connect a battery power station like that to your home boiler or your furnace. The problem with connecting backup power to a boiler or furnace is that they're hardwired. So there's no easy way to make the connection. But we're going to set this boiler up so it can be easily connected to a backup power source like the F3000. So the next time the power goes out, we'll be ready. I bought this easy generator transfer switch, which can be used to connect backup power to many circuits, but Today, we're going to use it to connect a boiler. This same setup could be used to connect a gas or oil furnace. This switch is often used with a gas generator, but it can also be used with a battery system, which is nice because everything can be done inside the house. With its 3,072 watt hour battery, the F3000 should keep the boiler running for a long time. We'll find out just how long it keeps it running in a few minutes. I've made a complete wiring and installation video for the Easy Generator Switch to help you install a similar setup at your home. I should have that video up soon, so stay tuned for that. I installed the Easy Generator Switch just ahead of the safety switch because all the safeties and boiler controls will still need to work while on backup power. Our switches are in the off position, so let's go turn the circuit breaker to the boiler back on. Okay, let's go see if it still works. First, we'll turn on our safety switch, and then we'll turn our easy switch to normal power. I do have the display back on on my controls, so we should be good to go. Okay, let's connect our F3000 battery power station to the easy switch. Okay, we'll plug into the AC outlet block and turn it on. We'll turn the switch from normal to off, and then over to generator. I have a display on the controls, so we do have backup power. I'll turn up a thermostat, and we'll run some hot water to get the boiler fired up. Okay, looks like we're running. Let's check out the load. My heating system is consuming about 230 watts and the power station can run for about 11.3 hours at this loading before the battery will need to be recharged. But how many days can the boiler provide heat on backup power? This boiler provides heat and hot water to my home and over the past five years I've averaged about 800 gallons of oil use per year. Based on the nozzle size and usage I estimate the boiler runs about three and a half hours a day on the coldest winter months and much less in the spring, summer, and fall. So at three and a half hours a day, this setup would run about three days in the winter months and much longer in the spring, summer, and fall before it needed to be recharged. Not bad at all. One of the benefits of using the F3000 over other power stations is its very low, no load power consumption. That means the unit will consume very little power in between run times when the system is idle, keeping your heat and hot water running for much longer. I'm going to run the battery down a bit and then we'll recharge the unit with solar power. But first, let's take a quick look at the power station. The F3000 is a bit smaller in size than the F3800, weighing in at about 91 pounds. It has the same design with the wheels, the carrying handles, and the retractable handle for moving it around. To turn it on and off, we press and hold the power button for three seconds. A quick press will turn the display on and off. 
There's a light bar on the top that can be controlled by a switch. This unit is expandable with up to three expansion batteries and two F3000 power stations can be connected together with the double voltage hub for 240 volt output at the hub. It can also be connected to your power panel with the Anchor Solix bi-directional inlet box and the Anchor Solix smart meter. You can find out more information about that option on the Anchor website. The F3000 can also be controlled and monitored with the phone app, which is a really nice feature in my opinion. Let's take a look at the AC outputs. We can press the power button here to turn on and off the AC power block. This block offers four 120 volt 20 amp receptacles rated for 2400 watts. The receptacles can also provide UPS power when the F3000 is connected to a wall outlet. It's rated to switch within 20 milliseconds when utility power is lost. I have my iMac plugged in and I also have a lamp connected to see if we can notice the lights blink when I cut the power. I'll pull the plug to simulate a power outage. I did see the light blink but the computer transferred over to battery power without incident. Pretty cool. Then we have the TT30R receptacle. This is a 120 volt 30 amp receptacle rated for 3600 watts. This can be used to power a travel trailer, an EV charger, or a manual transfer switch to power pre-selected loads. We also have a wide variety of DC outputs. The F3000 is equipped with two USB-A and two USB-C outputs for charging your devices. They also include their IQ technology, which is really nice. Over here, we have another DC output block with a standard 12 volt DC car charger outlet rated for 10 amps. Above that, we have another DC output rated for 30 amps at 13.4 volts. Then we have some system connections over here on the side. We have the AC input output port. They offer a variety of cables that'll connect to this port. The ones I have here are used for charging. And below that, we have the expansion battery connection port. And right beside that, we have the DC generator input port. Now, I'm guessing the Anchor is going to offer a DC generator in the near future. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. The F3000 has multiple charging options. On the back, we have the high and low PV inputs for charging the unit with solar panels. We can charge with up to 165 volts on the high PV input for a maximum of 1600 watts of solar charge. We'll test that out in a couple minutes. This is great for series connected solar panels. On the low PV input, we can charge with up to 60 volts for a total of 800 watts of solar charging. This works well with parallel connected panels. Both ports can be used at the same time for a total of 2400 watts of solar charging. The F3000 can also be charged with a gas generator using the TT30P connection cable with a maximum input of 3600 watts. And of course, it can also be charged with a standard 120 volt wall outlet at a maximum of 1800 watts. So there are many ways we can recharge the battery once it gets low. As you can see, I've run the battery down to about 63% and I like free power. So we're going to recharge the battery with solar panels. I have four 410 watt anchor solar panels connected in the series. And since it's warm outside, the voltage should be under 165 volts. The open circuit voltage is about 138 volts. So we can connect this up to our power station. It's hazy sunshine today, so I'm actually surprised we're getting 1334 watts of charge. At this rate, it'll charge in just under an hour. Pretty cool. Keeping your heat and hot water running isn't just about convenience, especially here in Maine, it's a necessity. 
I think the Anchor Solix F3000 is the perfect fit for this type of application. You're not out in the elements dealing with a gas generator and with its large capacity battery and low self consumption, it stands out from the other brands. If you want to learn more or check out pricing, there's a link down in the video description. They have some nice discounts going on right now as well. If you're interested in a 240 volt system, you're going to want to watch this video next. I'm John from Backyard Maine. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.